All right, so it's come to my attention that apparently a lot of women don't like to cook or cook for the guy. So this video is about cooking and specifically women cooking. I first got turned on to the idea that a woman should know how to cook a meal by watching entrepreneurs in cars. And it kind of woke me up because I had been for years cooking for my family and I gotten kind of lazy. I got in the habit of going out to eat all the time and I'm at a time in my life when I could afford it but it was still getting very expensive like eighty or hundred dollars a day on dinner so I took a look at that and I started cooking and that's what some of these videos can do they can kind of wake us up a little bit now if someone is not cooking at all the chances are that they're either frivolously if they're going out to eat high quality restaurant food, like fresh farm to table stuff, they're probably spending at least 80 to $100 a day. If you have a glass of wine, an appetizer dinner, at least $80, which is a little frivolous unless you're like super rich or you're eating crap, um, fast food or frozen food or on a uh, frozen food. Do you want to date a woman who eats crap? because she can get away with it in her 20s but if you eat like that in your 30 and 35 you're going to balloon out like a balloon and have all kinds of health issues and so when you're dating um who's paying for the dinners like who how does how are you guys eating if she's not cooking at all if you take her out to dinner she ought to be cooking for you are you cooking for her? Is she cooking for you? Like, I don't understand how people cannot cook. What are they eating? And how does dating work? Because a lot of dating revolves around eating meals together. Like, that's a fun part of dating. And cooking together is a fun part of being in a relationship. Uh, maybe the guy likes to cook and the woman does the cleanup, but everybody needs to learn how to know how to cook. It's called being an adult and having taking care of your body. At the very least, anybody could make a salad or some meat and some brown rice and a vegetable. Like, I don't like to cook, but I do it. The other thing, too, is that I think that cooking is a very nourishing activity. A lot of our celebrations and social get-togethers revolve around food, Christmas, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner, 4th of July, barbecues, you know, at weddings, there's food. Every party has food, um, picnics, buffets, people gather and celebrate around food. Um, having people over for dinner, having a gathering, there's always food. So when someone doesn't have a relationship with food and sharing food, family dinners, something's a little bit off i would just kind of if you're a guy dating a woman who doesn't cook i would kind of um ask about that a little bit maybe try to wake this person up <laughs> also if you're a man t also um if men are saying i don't want to take a woman out because i'm investing all this time in her i'm not getting any sex that's not a woman you're in love with and that's not a woman who's kind to you in my opinion because if the only t reason you're with this woman is in the hopes of getting sex that's not a relationship and that's not being authentic that's manipulative i don't really like you but i'm going to keep going out with you in the hopes of getting something from you someday that's manipulation and going out with someone that isn't really into you hoping that they will be into you is uh, like why would you do that uh, it is not true that men have to have sex like immediately because I had a hairstylist years ago and she would always talk about her boyfriend and her fiance I had no idea that they were not having sex together because she was in her 30s and he was divorced. He had a son. He was in, he was in the Marine Corps. And um, 
I saw her after her wedding. She was just glowing. I'm like, what happened to you? She goes, I'm finally having sex. I'm like, all these years you've been together, you guys weren't having sex, but they were always talking on the phone and going to the gym together like they were so in love. I knew this other guy years ago who was so in love with his girlfriend of years, but they never had sex. So if you're in love with the woman and she appreciates you and you have a relationship, you're not going to be crying about investing all that time and getting no sex. That only happens if you're not into her. And if you're not into her, why are you dating her? By the way, the best way to start a relationship, in my opinion, is as friends. Not because one person is getting something or giving something they don't want to give. Like, do I even like this person? What if, you know, some guys try to impress a woman with money. Well, what if you're broke? Is she still going to like you? How will you ever know? The same with sex. Women shouldn't be having sex with guys right away if they want a relationship because how do you know that isn't just all he wants? At some point, you got to figure out, do I even like this person? Do I like this person's company? Do I have anything in common? Do I like being with this person? If he's not buying me stuff and we're not having sex, we're just talking. Do I even like how this person thinks? Is this person kind? This is just my views. I'm 60, you know, and um, I've given up on dating for myself. But if I did, I would want to start out as friends. Like, do I even like this person enough that I want to spend money on them, that I want to have sex with them? Because money comes and goes. And even you might be dating this woman hoping for sex. Believe me, the sex is going to stop. As soon as she has kids, the chances are it's done for years. So if that's all you're waiting for and all you're going to get from her, she's not the right woman because she's not, you, she's not, you're not going to have a lot of sex after you get married, especially once the kids come along and everybody's busy working. So, and then you're always going to be pining for, I didn't get any. You got to have something more than that. It's my opinion and I'm, I'm going to be opinionated now. I'm not trying to get coaching clients. I, I shouldn't even post my coaching website. I'm just going to start um, posting nothing in the description and just making videos. 